Hello everybody and welcome to my new YouTube channel devoted entirely to my favorite brand, Louis Vuitton. I've been buying, reselling, and restoring Louis Vuitton bags for a few years now and one of the biggest questions that I get asked is how do you restore and care for an old or vintage Louis Vuitton bag? Today I have with me a beautiful red and blue Epi Noe. This is a really um, classic bag by Louis Vuitton. This bag was made in 1990, so it's pretty old. It's uh, about 30 years old now. Um, and I figured that I would share some of my knowledge and show you guys how to restore this guy because he needs a little bit of work before I can resell him. A few things that I'm going to do to this bag is fix some of the rubs that are on the corners of this bag, so we're just going to re-dye it. I'm going to clean and condition the leather on this bag, which is pretty dingy, um, but once I clean it, it'll look good. I'm going to polish the brass hardware on this bag. We're going to whip this into shape, and then I'm going to fix the edge dye on all the straps for this bag. So as you can see here, on most Louis Vuitton bags, there's a black edge dye. Um, uh, this is on all their wallets and stuff too, and this is really prone to flaking um, and cracking, and so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is fix the corners on this bag. So I've already fixed three of the four corners. As you can see, all of these corners look good as new. Um, this blue epi leather is called Toledo Blue or Toledo Blue. Um, it's very difficult to match this color, but I've found that a perfect match for this color is actually blue printer ink. Um, and so I have with me a blue printer ink cartridge and a paintbrush. And all you do is get a little bit of that printer ink on the end of your paintbrush. And then you find wherever on this you want to kind of touch up, um, which is this corner here. And then you just kind of go in there and start painting on the die. And sometimes it takes a couple of coats to get it completely covered, um, but you can already tell that that's starting to get better. Um, I've tried a lot of things trying to match this blue. I've tried paints, I've tried other dyes, um, but believe it or not, this printer ink does the best job at covering up these corners and making them look good as new again. Um, you could do this on wallets or bags or anything really in epi leather. So as you can see, it's still a little bit wet, but that corner is blue again. It's a really easy way to fix um, the corners on these bags, because a lot of the times, I mean on all these old bags, these corners get rubbed up. Um, so if you see something in epi blue that you really want, but the corners are kind of rubbed up, don't worry about it. It's super easy to fix. Um, all you got to have is some blue print ink, which most people have. Um, the next thing that I want to do is kind of clean up the leather on this bag. So this red leather is really prone to dirt. I don't know if you can see the top, but it's pretty dingy up here. Um, when I'm dealing with leather, especially by Louis Vuitton, I like to use this. It's called Saddle Soap. It's by Kiwi. You can buy this stuff on Amazon for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. It's really cheap. Um, and it lasts forever. It looks like this. It's kind of like a, like a wax almost. Um, and then along with that, to clean all my Louis Vuitton products, I use baby wipes. This is kind of what everyone uses because um, they're really gentle and they don't cause any staining or marks um, and they're not abrasive. Um, you have to make sure though that you're using alcohol-free baby wipes. They need to be water wipes. Um, most brands are alcohol-free because, well, no one wants to put alcohol on their baby when they're cleaning them. Um, but all you do is you take your baby wipe and you rub it in a little bit of saddle soap and it kind of gets covered on there and then you just start cleaning. And what I love about Louis Vuitton Epi Leather is that it's super durable so you can just go to town on this stuff. You can scrub away and make sure that you get it nice and clean. And this is going to take away a lot of the dirt 
and the dinginess on the bag is going to brighten it up a little bit and just make it look better overall. Um, you can do this with Louis Vuitton canvas as well and also with Vachetta leather, but I'm going to have a video coming up next week on how to clean and detail Vachetta leather because that's a whole different beast. Um, so just come check out my video next week about cleaning that up. But I'm just going around this bag and I'm scrubbing it clean just to kind of brighten it up and give it a new look. And the saddle soap is great because it really gets in there and cleans it. It's meant to clean leather. And like I said, this Epi leather by Louis Vuitton is true leather, so it cleans it really well. got this bag pretty well wiped down. As you can tell, this is pretty gross. You know, over the 30 years that this bag has been alive, it's collected a lot of dirt and grime, um, as you can see on this babe wipe. And as you can see, a little bit of this red came off. That's nothing to be worried about. It's completely natural. Um, just as you're rubbing the bag down, sometimes that happens. It's not a big deal. The bag isn't hurt. There's no dye coming off of it. It, it really... It doesn't affect anything. So if you see something like that, don't be alarmed. It's okay, especially on this epi leather, because these colors are so vibrant that sometimes the dye, just over time, when you're cleaning it, it comes out. So here we have our pretty clean bag. Um, and after I went over it with the saddle soap, I like to go over it with a clean baby wipe, um, just to make sure that you get all that soap residue off of there and get it just nice and clean. see this got pretty damp from the baby wipe but again no worries this epi leather is really strong um you don't have to worry about stuff like that i'll probably go back over this again as you can see more dirt's coming off of here i'm probably going to go over this top um again later just to get some of that some more of that dirt off but you can go over this as many times as you want uh, with the saddle soap to make sure that it gets really clean and you can do that over the whole bag, obviously not the lining on the inside, but I'll probably go do that on the bottom here too, just to clean it up and make the bag more presentable. The next thing that I often do with these older bags is look at the hardware. Now the hardware on these old bags is made out of brass. And so over time, it kind of gets um, green or blue or it gets uh, kind of like a brown film over it, but don't worry, it's super easy to clean. I use something called Brasso. Now Brasso is another thing that you can find on Amazon. I mean, like $10 again, it was super cheap. Um, it's really easy to use and it cleans this brass up like crazy. It, it does a really good job. So as you can see here, I'm gonna clean this one. It's pretty dirty. Um, just over time, it's gotten dirty. And what I use to clean this um, is usually just a Q-tip. And what I do is I get a little bit of this Brasso on it. As you can see, there's our dirty thing. And then you just apply it. And you want to be pretty careful to try not to get this all over your leather. It isn't going to hurt it immediately, but it's better to not. I mean, it'll dry it out, so you want to just try and keep it off of your leather the best that you can. Um, and basically all you're going to do is put this on here, kind of let it sit for a minute, scrub it around. You can get, uh, you can scrub these pretty hard. You're not gonna hurt them by any means. Um, and the harder you scrub them, the cleaner that they're gonna come. Um, this is already starting to shine up. It's looking really good. So as you can see, my Q-tip's really gross. 
Um, and what that's telling me is that this is starting to get really clean. And sometimes, just like the leather, you have to clean it a few times to get it exactly where you want it. Um, but for the most part, a lot of this gross is going to come off. So then I just clean it up with a baby wipe. I get all of that product off of there and away from the leather so that it doesn't dry out. And as you can see, we've got a shiny new piece of brass. Now here's an old piece of brass next to it for comparison. Can you see the difference between the two? This brasso really does wonders on these old brass um, pieces that are on these Louis Vuitton bags. And what's cool about this bag is it has them all the way around. And once I get all of these clean, this bag is gonna look brand new and it's 30 years old. So it's really easy to clean up these brass pieces. A lot of times people see things like this that aren't shiny anymore and they kind of shy away from it. There's no reason to shy away from it. You can clean it so easily. Look how beautiful that got. It's, I mean, in brand new condition. So again, you just use Brasso. You can find it on Amazon. Super easy, super quick, and it makes your old bags look literally brand new. Now the final thing that I'm going to do to kind of touch this bag up is reline these leather straps. And on this Noe, there's lots of straps, which is cool. Um, most Louis Vuitton products, as I was saying, have this black lining um, that goes on here. It's called edge dye, and it's really prone to breaking um, and chipping and falling off. Now you can take this into the Louis Vuitton store and you can get it fixed, but it's going to cost you because this is considered normal wear and tear for the bag. I'm not sure what it would cost for one of these bags, but I would guess in the neighborhood of $150. Um, wallets are the same thing. Wallets are more prone to cracking, which I'll make a video on how to re-line um, re a wallet as well. Um, but for now, we'll just learn on this guy. And as you can see, this is cracked and dry. It's an old bag, you know, it's 30 years old. And what I use to fix this is something called Edge Coat. Now you can get this, again, off of Amazon. You can get anything off of Amazon. Um, if you have a local leather supply store or a craft store, they will also have this. I'm pretty sure I got this at Hobby Lobby. So if you have a Hobby Lobby in your town, you can get this. But it's, again, so easy to get off of Amazon. Again, for my tools, we're going to be using a Q-tip. Um, it just makes for a really easy application and you can be very, you can be more precise with a Q-tip. Um, but basically all this is, is an acrylic, um, it's not really a dye, it's more like a paint. It's like an acrylic edge paint. Um, and so what it's going to do is it's going to harden and it's going to give you a lining along the edge of whatever you're trying to do. All you do is dip your Q-tip in this and you're going to get a nice coating of this on here. Now you can see at the end of this Q-tip, there's a little bit of a drop just waiting to come off. What you're gonna do is you're going to just apply that to the edge of whatever you're trying to recoat. And what's cool about this is you can build it up and it kind of holds a surface tension. So you don't wanna paint it on just like you would, you know, painting a painting or painting some canvas or you know whatever else you want to really uh, build this stuff up because it's a sealant it protects your leather and I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing but as you can see this stuff is really starting to build up and what happens is you get a little bit of a build up going on here with this stuff and when it dries, it's gonna dry just like when you put it on. And so you can get a nice smooth layer going across this whole thing. And by the time you've re-edge dyed the whole thing, it's gonna look brand new. You're not gonna have any cracks in it. And it's gonna have a nice shiny black edge to it, which is what it looked like when it was brand new. Um, and like I said, you can do this with anything from wallets to bags, anything that has this black edge dye on it. I think in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you how to do this to a wallet um, because those are a little bit more difficult. This has a really wide um, area to it, so it's a little bit easier. But what you're going to do is you're just going to put as many coats on this as it takes to make a really smooth and shiny layer. You just want to be obviously careful that you don't, you know, get it off the edge. You don't want it on your actual leather, but if it does, it comes off really easy. Like I said, it's acrylic, 
So, it, I mean, it literally, it either, it'll wash off or it'll peel off. Um, so it's, it's really easy to use, and I find that this makes for the best repairs on um, some of this stuff here. I think that is all I had to show you on this particular bag. Like I said, next, I'm going to be making lots more videos. So next week, I'm gonna, I have an Alma coming in, so I'll show you how to clean the Vachetta leather on that Alma, which is what a lot of people want to know how to do. I just happen to have an Epi bag with me, so I thought I'd show you guys how to fix it up. Um, I have this strap too, which is what cinches this uh, Noe bag, and so I'm going to re-edge dye this too, because you, as you can see, at one point in time, it had some edge dye. I'll probably re-dye this blue with my printer ink. And then I'm going to go around, I'm going to fix all of the hardware, and I'm probably going to clean the bag one more time. But once it's clean, it's going to look pretty good and basically brand new. And what I'm going to be able to do is sell this bag, hopefully, for a little bit of a profit. Um, if I don't find out that I like it enough to keep it. But um, if you're interested in this bag or other bags or any Louis Vuitton product in general, I would encourage you to join my Facebook group which is called the Louis Vuitton Gold Mine. If you just search that up on Facebook in the groups, you'll find out all you have to do is send me a request to join. Um, and I'll almost likely accept your request unless I figure out that you're a scammer. Um, but I, along with other people, um, buy and sell these bags. If you have one to sell or if you want to buy one, um, I'll also be posting these videos to it. So you'll get lots of good tips on how to uh, care for your bags. Again, that's the Louis Vuitton Gold Mine on Facebook, and that's going to be my central hub for selling, buying, and showing videos on how to restore these bags. Um, I appreciate you watching my video, and I hope that you kind of learned something from it today. Um, as I like to say, never shy away from a bag because it looks like it's in too bad a condition. You know, unless the bag is in shreds or it's torn or ripped, there isn't really anything you can't fix if you get creative with it. Um, so yeah, just keep watching my videos. Come back next week, I'll have a video on an Alma showing you how to restore the Vachetta leather because a lot of people are curious about that. Um, and then I'll probably, you know, make a video on how to, how to do some wallets and some tips on buying and reselling and probably some videos on authentication of these bags as well because that's really important when you're buying and being a notified buyer um i think that's all i have to say again thank you so much for watching my video i hope it was helpful and i will see you in my next video